Unlocking the mystery. Get in causative passive voice. Hello learners. Today, we're diving into a fascinating aspect of English grammar. We'll be focusing on how to use get in the causative passive voice. This might sound tricky, but don't worry. By the end of this lesson, you'll be able to comfortably use this form in your everyday English conversation and writing. So, let's get started. Before we delve deeper, let's quickly recall what the causative passive voice is. In English, we use the causative form when we arrange for someone else to do something for us. This can be an action or a service. When this is expressed in the passive voice, it emphasizes the action rather than who arranged it. For example, instead of saying, I asked the hairdresser to cut my hair, you might say, I had my hair cut. In this case, the focus shifts to the haircut rather than the asking. Now, let's see how get fits into this. The word get can also be used in causative sentences to replace have. Generally, get is more informal and conversational than have. For example, instead of saying, I had my hair cut, you might say, I got my hair cut. The sentence structure for the causative passive with get is subject plus get plus object plus past participle. For instance, I got my car washed. She got her house cleaned. Remember, the focus is on the action, car washing, house cleaning, and not who performed it. Now that we understand the concept, let's practice with some exercises. 1. Convert the active voice into passive. 2. John is painting Sarah's house. Answer. Sarah is getting her house painted. 3. A mechanic fixed my bicycle. Answer. I got my bicycle fixed. 4. Fill in the blanks with correct form. 5. She, blank, her hair dyed yesterday. Answer. She got her hair dyed yesterday. 6. I need to, blank, my documents translated. Answer. I need to get my documents translated. Remember, practice makes perfect. Try making your own sentences using this structure. Well done, learners. You've just unlocked the mystery of using get in the causative passive voice. Remember, it's all about shifting the focus to the action. Keep practicing these structures, and soon they'll become second nature. I hope this video has been helpful. Keep learning, keep growing. Until next time, happy learning.